using uh, bits of fruit. I like it. I like it. Thank you for inviting us to your beautiful home. My pleasure. We looked at some stuff online and your name kept popping up. Which, really? <laughs> which is testament to the good works that uh, you were doing. So folks, we are with um, Ida. Ida is like, you know, um, a very, you call her a professor in cooking. Because <laughs> everyone says, her food is so delicious. Yeah. So we're going to make time and talk to her. But first, I want to say thank you for keeping the African cuisine alive. Because in many African countries, we are substituting our healthy and nutritious food for fast foods from mm -hmm. the West. So thank you, Aida, and thank you for inviting us here where are we my pleasure you are in bullfoot at yaboy home cooking okay and uh which part of uh, banjul is this or gambia this is south gambia south of gambia yeah okay okay that's nice mm -hmm. that's nice you want to tell us about how this all started oh anyway i studied in england i did hotel tourism and catering management okay then i came back 1989 okay from 1980 from 1989 to 2008 I work in hotels. I used to work at Senegal Beach Hotel from 89 to 2006. Then I resigned in 2006 for a more challenging job to Makasutu. Okay. Mandina Lodge. That's an eco lodge and it's the best eco lodge in the world. Best yeah. eco lodge in, in the, the world. world. The one that. I'm really looking forward I, to visiting yeah. the place. So there I was the general manager. Then 2008, I resigned for my home cooking because I wanted to start something new in the tourism market. Because I realized that when tourists come to a country, they would like to have authentic Gambian food. They don't have it in their hotels. And um, when they come, most people don't have the chance to visit a home, a Gambian home. And some people are not brave enough to go to our local markets. And I like my African outfits. Anytime I put them on, and it's they so love it. Beautiful. So I combine all and do it as a business. So when people come here, I dress them up in African outfits. We go to the market together, wow. buy the ingredients, come back to my house. We cook together, play together, eat together, and exchange cultural values. So I just preserve my culture to promote sustainable tourism. And I've been doing this since 2008 and very, very popular. This is really brilliant. Yeah. You know, and um, with the cooking, is it, I mean, as an African woman, obviously, straight from from childhood, you get to learn how to cook from, from my your mother. mother's kitchen. Yeah. And I know? name it, I name my business after my mom. Okay. Because okay. in my is that family, picture there? That's, that's her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In my family, we're all women. And we were brought up by a single parent. So mom has sacrificed a lot for us, of course. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And um, how has it been over the last uh, um, several years? Very, very popular. The first year, it was challenging because it was only Thomas Cook who used to sell me. But they brought Green Guy TV from England who came here and covered me. So the following year, all the operators come up to me interesting yeah interesting. it is in cnn international yes yes and um um if you go to brussels airlines brussels in flight airlines, video yes, i'm yes. there also yeah gambi experience in flight magazine i'm also there yeah and i won so many awards yeah, yeah the um i won the best gambian business sustainable business 
from GCI. And um, is there a plan to hand this down uh, to a next generation? Obviously, I've just started that. I'm now giving back to the Gambian youth, and it's fully funded by the Ministry of Trade. Fully funded just, by the Ministry yes, of Trade? I just, I only about, let's say, was it in last month, mm. October, about 20 Gambian youths have been graduated wow. from Yaboy Home for Game. Wow. Three men and 17 women. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, Okay, so now that um, you've been to Gambia, um, to Ghana, you've eaten Banku. What else? Yeah, I I ate Banku and something, something I don't know the name, but it's greenish. It's greenish. Green, green soup. Ayoyo. Maybe it's ayoyo. With, and with, uh, I also ate something like super kanja okra soup. Okra soup, yes. Which is very nice. But Banku is my specialty. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. What yeah, did you eat it with? Tilapia. Um, with tilapia. Okay, okay. Very nice. Okay, I love it. Okay, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I, it. I, I like your shito. Shito? Shito, yes. Okay. Did you get the recipe? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunately for that one, no. And I won the Joll of competition. Yes, yes. In, I just saw in something in Nigeria. In Nigeria. And Ghana was among the competition as well. So I said... How, how did I, you make it? You know, we are... Joll of means the sub-region here. Yes, yes. And Wolof is a tribe. Yes. And I I always argue, why, why do you say that Ghana and Nigeria cook on, the best jollof on, on jollof rice when jollof is the sub region here <laughs> in senegal and gambia so i i won um in 2000 was it in 2019 or 18 i forgot it was. yeah yeah 18. yeah and i even saw them how we eat it interesting mm -hmm. interesting so now that we're here in uh, the gambia in your beautiful cultural african home um what do you have in store for us Today I've got local juice because okay. that's ginger. You must have it. Okay, in your so this is ginger. No, that one is ginger. Which the one? The first one. This one. Okay, this one is ginger. ginger. And this one is ditter. Ditter. What is it ditter made of? Ditter is a fruit. Okay. It's a green fruit that you can have in the forest. Okay. And this one is wonjo. Wonjo is a wonjo. sobolo in Ghana. Yes. And this one wonjo. is baobab. But ba from the baobab tree. Yeah, all of them are very healthy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All of them are very healthy. Well. Uh, that is pretty good, and I like the the packaging as well. And they are all yeah. natural. Very natural. That is very good. Very nice. And in terms of our meals, a bit later, because we want to taste from your tasty kitchen. Yeah. Um, what should we be expecting? I'm already salivating. <laughs> I swallowed my saliva like a hundred yeah. times. <laughs> Yasa, Yasa originated from the Jola tribe. Okay, so we're going to be grill. eating something called yasa. Charcoal grilled fish. Charcoal grilled fish. With spicy onions. With spicy onions? Mm. Together with rice. Together with rice. Yeah. There was a time I was hired to go to South Africa just to cook venison. Wow. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> of all the meals you know how to cook from the Gambia, which one do you love to cook the most? Venison is my favorite. Venison. Yeah. Why is that? Um... I just like it because it's spicy, number one, healthy. I just love it. Mm, yeah. Mm, Energy is my mm. favorite. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's similar to, it's just your jollof rice. Yeah. yeah. What do we have here? This is Fisiasa. Fish yasa. I'm going to a Gambian home anytime. Okay. You can have food. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, tell me, Aida, I see that you've brought, I mean, we're four that came. You've brought four spoons in one big bowl. Is it typical Gambian that, you know, visitors eat together, unlike in the West where everybody would have had a separate plate. This is, you know. This is how we do it. We eat together always. Okay. I always be together. Okay. If you go to a Gambian home during lunch, yeah. you think it's a ceremony. Wow. When it's just the family. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And wow. lunch is our main meal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is impressive. So, um, and obviously with a spoon. So, tell me, what is it made of? This is a green. This is like a contemporary. This is, this is you know, this um. These are wonjo. Wonjo. These okay. are the leaves. The hibiscus leaves. Yes. Okay. We boil it like uh, like like spinach. Okay. And it's always a side dish. Okay. And the flowers yeah. we use drink from from it. Okay. And this is charcoal grilled fish. 
okay. with spicy onions. Okay, yeah. okay. And you call it a... Uh, Fisiasa. Fisiasa. Yeah, originated from the Jola tribe. Originated from the Jola tribe. Yes. Of the Gambia. Of the Gambia. Only on the Real Travel Show. <laughs> um, so you keep watching as we have lunch. This looks very delicious. How long does it take to prepare this? Our cooking is very slow. About three hours. Three hours? Yeah, our okay. cooking is very slow. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. Oh. Thank you so much for a very delicious lunch. And uh, I am also giving testimony <laughs> to what the world say about your cooking. It is no surprise that when you attended the famous Jollof competition in Nigeria, you beat Ghanaians and Nigerians. And um, I've come to certainly not just witness but actually taste it and uh, this is to commend you highly thank you for all the good work but finally your dress i see it's very popular in this part of uh west africa mm -hmm. what is this called this is called garambu garambu yeah and you know it's handmade this is, this okay so this is hand woven this is all the hand patterns are yeah. hand woven yeah it's okay. called garambu garambu okay okay it's very light it's very light. Okay. Yeah. Is it because, because of the weather? Okay. Okay. All right. That's yeah. nice. And um, people can wear it at home or and for functions, Ceremony, functions okay. and so forth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it always has to come with a. I always think that the head tie makes it complete. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And it makes you look majestic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, thank you very much, Aida. Mm. And uh, when are you inviting us back? On Friday. Oh, you're my. Welcome. I'm thinking about you. <laughs> to Gambia already. On Friday, you come and try Benachin. Benachin. Yes. Okay, guys. So we're back here on Friday. And um, hopefully on Friday, we'll be able to join you do some of the cooking. No problem. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that is it from us from here. Um, I did promise you it was going to be exciting and fun. Whenever you get to visit the Gambia, either on official assignments, either on business or on holiday, please do make sure you get in touch with uh, Ida and uh, she would give you a classic Gambian welcome, of course, at a fee. Uh, <laughs> so, for a meal like the one we took, how much would that cost? In dollars, mm, let's say thousand dollars, say thousand dollars, yeah, yeah, which can which is four, four people can eat, yeah, absolutely. And how much would that be in dollars? In dollars, I think that's twenty dollars, that's about twenty dollars, which yeah. is quite you know good. Yeah, you know, you saw plates of rice mm. and fish and all the attachments, you know, absolutely delicious. Mm. So, um, we thank you for watching, uh, even though you did not get a chance <laughs> to taste it, but you saw it. And um, we invite you to visit the Gambia, the smiling coast of Africa, and get to see not just the sights and sounds, but to taste the cuisine. Until the next destination, my name is Ras Mubarak. Thanks for watching. And the interesting thing about what Aida does is that everything she cooks is from Gambia. Mm -hmm. So even the rice, even the rice, I is that some people. made from Gambia. You know, this is what we want to see Africans do in Africa to be able to sell the continent. We've got to be able to grow what we're eating and eat what we grow. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we can prosper, create more jobs. You know, for our people. Keep it up, Aida. Thank We're you. Really proud of you. Thank you.